Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, this is a question that I get from time to time. I haven't answered it in a long time. So we'll uh, do a refresh of the video and at the same time also post the link to where you can download the latest version of Windows 10 on uh, to do a clean install. So the question I get regularly is how often should I do a clean install of Windows? And this is a very tricky question because there's uh, many types of th ways of thinking here. And technically, um, I'll, I'll give my take on it. Others have other takes on it. So some people do it once a year, once every six months, uh, whatever the system goes well or not. Uh, some people are on the same install of Windows for years. And so, of course, um, why would you want to clean install Windows? So my own way of doing it is I clean install Windows when I start seeing that it behaves uh, strangely or maybe that it's not as fast as I would like it to be. Uh, there comes a point where a clean install is a good thing and it gives back some of that speed that your PC might have you know, lost over time. It also removes all the, um, you know, junk that has accumulated uh, on your hard drive and the software and the stuff you don't need anymore. Uh, and um, so basically my take on it is I do a clean install when things to seem to actually go weird and I want to start fresh. So when your PC starts getting a little buggy or, you know, if you have errors when you do different things or install software, um, then maybe you could start thinking of a clean install. A clean install often fixes a lot of the problems that people have. Um, I recommend a clean install if you've been infected with malware because even though there are cleaning tools, even though there are ways to remove you aren't never 100% sure that malware is totally gone. There are some of them that are extremely sticky and that they just hide themselves in so many different places, including sometimes not even being detected by the antivirus. So if you've been bitten by malware, uh, reinstall might actually be a good idea once again because it, it, the clean install is going to make sure that if you erase everything and reinstall Windows, the virus is gone. It's not there anymore. As a tech guy, most of the times when people were bitten by uh, viruses, I would uh, clean install rather than start cleaning. And, you know, sometimes cleaning takes so much time because of all the things and all the places where this virus could be that a clean install is often actually faster and quicker. And you get back a PC that is like brand new, basically, almost. So uh, there are different ways to uh, reinstall Windows when you want to do so. Uh, one is using some of the internal tools. Uh, when you go into your settings app and go into your uh, Windows update uh, sec section, update and security, if you look at recovery, you will see that there is a uh, reset this PC option. This is one way of doing it. It's not a clean install per se. It could be in a way because you could tell it to simply uh, reinstall completely Windows and erase everything. But um, one of the best ways to do it is with an external device, a uh, external thumb drive like a USB key or a uh, DVD that you create. To do that, you can use um, the download page, and actually I'll post the link to this download page for Windows 10. You can actually download from Windows 10 here and um, use the download tool. There's the a thing called the media creation tool. And uh, basically, a media creation tool is something that is um, going to have you download a copy or an image of Windows 10 that you can use to clean install. You can also clean install using the Update Now button or the uh, Media Creation tool once again. A clean install involves removing everything. So that's very important. 
Do not keep your files, do not keep your programs. That's not a clean install, and basically you're just installing Windows with the same problems probably again. Make sure you back up everything, and you use the option to erase everything to do a clean install. But typically, um, clean installs, very often, I will recommend mostly when your PC starts being slow or starts to show signs of little problems or errors here and there that you didn't have before. If you enjoyed my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.